Welcome back. Stay focused, take some notes, and let's go. Concerning the documentation in this video, we will go a bit further than we have explained previously. Let's go to edit to show the elements we'd like to include first. I'd like to include the cover in preface no, table of content yes, description no, images no, luminary list I can say yes here. Then as for the product data sheets, you may include them or not, but I prefer personally not to include them. And then if I want to share them with my clients, I go to the uh, the manufacturer's websites, I download the uh, data sheets and I send them because they are more, uh, I mean, understandable in, on there because the dialogues ones are not pretty much, they are not the best, to be honest. So, yes, I don't include them. Then I have the site, the building. I don't include the luminary list. I have already included it in the beginning. Room list, I have only, only one room. Calculations, then I go further down to row one. Uh, by the way, before coming here, I can go back to construction. I will come here. I will, well, I can either do it in construction, light, or calculations, but let's come here. I will change the name of the room. I will call it bed room. Enter. I will go back to documentation. And now, if I scroll down, this room one is now called bedroom, and it's also called bedroom here. So, I will scroll down, I have the description, I need a description, as for the images, I can either include them or not, depends on what you want, on the requirements of the project, I need a summary, yes, I don't need a luminary layout plan, because it only tells you where the lights are placed, but I actually have that in in the DWG plan I have exported, so I don't need that. The luminary list is already up there. As for the calculation objects, I'd like to keep them. This calculation object light scene, this one is kind of an overview of the calculation objects. I can keep it and, I mean, if I have this one, then as for these ones, I can uh, they are more detailed, yes, but you can not include them if you want to, if you think that this one does the work, does the job. So I will, in this case, hide them like that. And then as for the glossary, I don't need to show it because the glossary is, it actually explains the symbols and the formulas and all that in dialogues so i don't want to include that i will go back up and i will click on edit now i the, the objective the goal is to make the report as small as possible because when it's so 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 big it's very complicated to read through so i will click on cover here then i will go to configure page in here, I will click on the header, the header and select a logo. I will select my logo. Here is my logo. Then as for this footer, it can be anything. It can be a disclaimer. It can be your website, for example. I will insert my website in this case. Magmalight.com. This header and the footer, you can hide them for whatever page you'd like to. Hide header on this page, hide footer on this page. But I like them to be on all the pages. Then for the cover, you can add a text, any kind of text you'd like to add here. Uh, wait, I should go back to edit. Um, da, 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 da. I have not included um, anything in the project. I don't even remember that I didn't insert anything here, but it's okay, no problem. Say the same. This is project name 
bedroom. Let's not write it on capital bedroom. Bedroom lighting design for the Dialog Scribble free course for beginners. If I go back to documentation, I now have contacts as well. I'll click on edit. That's good. Cover. I can choose, I can click, you actually click on this, on this photo that is suggested by default by Dialogs. You click on it, then you have a lot of suggestions by Dialogs. Then if you click on this tab here, Views, these are the ones I have taken myself. These ones are the ones I have imported. If you have imported any and to import them, to import them, you actually go to import any photo you'd like to, you go to import, then you import an image file. It can be anything you'd like to. So let me go back here again. So now I want a, a retracing and it's actually here, this tab, ray trace images. So that's the one I have taken, apply. I can go to the layout alternatives. I want this photo to be in the middle, not a photo actually, a ray trace. So it's there and I have the description, bedroom lighting design for the Dialogue Civil Free Course for beginners. Uh, good. I can go to configure page. As I said, you can, you can add anything you'd like to. And then once you've done, you click on back to page preview view. Uh, view or preview? Oh, sorry. To page view, yes. Or you press F2 on your keyboard. Uh, um, that's it, I think, I guess. And then you click on show entire documentation. Now you have the entire documentation and if you scroll down, it looks like this. You can see my logo in the footer. You can see my website, Luminate List. This is the description here. Dialogs give me this description by default, but if you want to change it, I can click on it. Well, let's go to description. And I click on it, I can choose any one I'd like to. This one here, or this one. It depends. Okay, let's choose this one. I can again bring it to the middle. Then, okay, let's, let's click on show entire documentation again. No, and I left it here, so now I have the building one, store one, bedroom, the description. This is my summary. I can see the objects. I can see the calculation objects. I can see everything, the reflection factors, the ground area, clearance height, mountain height, every detail is there. And then you have these actually uh, light levels are they met or not all those details if they are not met they're gonna you're gonna have this if they are met then you have that okay okay if you want to play with these elements again you can go to your summary here and then configure the page as you want and as you need for your project that's it for this case study.